Welcome to another episode of Arizona Real Estate Showcase. I'm your host, Jason Grandin with the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. And I've got to tell you, things have been fantastic. All you that are moving to Arizona, you're going to love it. And this week alone, uh, we've put uh, four new people in homes, uh, one from Kansas, one from Virginia, and two from California. And I got to tell you, they love it. And uh, yesterday, I had some great friends of mine here moving from Colorado. They're out looking. And uh, I'm telling you, people are coming to Arizona. This is absolutely a weird 2020. I mean, who would have thought we went through a close down of the entire country and then now we're into riots and everything else. It's absolutely crazy. But with that said, it has not had a huge effect on the real estate industry. The uh, Grand and Group, we've been super busy, I got to tell you, and, and a lot of our colleagues have been buried. The real estate market is great. Rentals, sales, uh, listings, they have been Busy, so do not let the national media turn you down or uh, you know give you the bad news and tell you that it's not true, because it has been a uh, a killer show. Great people moving to Arizona, people tired of the nonsense, and they just want to have a great life, which is what Arizona provides. Also, one of the things I've got to tell you, we are fully active now north of Anthem. So we're talking the Tri City area, um, Prescott Valley. Chino, Cornville, Verde Valley, Black Canyon City, you name it, we're taking care of it. And I do have to mention this incredible new listing that we have up in Mare, Arizona. 21 acres, three A-frame houses. This place is phenomenal. It's got a pad on the top of the hill where you can build an 8, 9, 10,000 square foot home. It can be used as a cattle ranch, weddings, private. I mean, you name it, it's, the uh, opportunities are endless. This place is absolutely beautiful for under well under a million dollars. You won't find anything like it. The water is fresh from the well. And in fact, eight minutes off the 17, 45 minutes from Phoenix, it's been, we've had several days of over 100 plus degree weather. Over there, it is incredible. I mean, 80s, 90s. And when the uh, sun goes down behind those Bradshaw Mountains, I'm telling you, you need a coat. But for those of you looking for a big place like this, great ranch, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic place, especially if you want to kind of live the Old West style. This place is unbelievable. So the real estate market, hey, it's been great. It's a good time to buy. Rates are down. Uh, people are getting loans. There's some great deals out there. We've got several lenders we work with, so if you need some information, we'll send them to you. Do not let this coronavirus or this riding stuff deter you from purchasing your dream and stuff. So that kind of brings me to today's episode, which I kind of want to call a commitment. So when you guys decide do you want to buy, sell, or rent, you're kind of making a commitment. I'm going to commit to moving to Arizona. I'm going to commit to moving to Scottsdale, Cave Creek, Phoenix, wherever it is. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a commitment. And, it, you know, it can be scary. And real estate is scary. It's not one of these jobs like a lot of people push out. Oh, this is easy. We just sign some paperwork and you get paid. It's not like that at all. If you're considering buying here, it is a huge commitment. So it's really important that you know the areas and stuff. You don't want to be the kind of person that uh, wants to be left alone and then maybe move into an active high-rise community. Just not going to fly for you you're not going to be happy also you know we uh we own instantrenters.com so we have a lot of people that move here rent for six months to figure out the areas they like every area has a different personality and so um you know some of the latest things this past week has been challenging up here in cave creek because we've had some huge fires and we've actually lost a few homes and uh it's you know but you've got to make that commitment do i want to live in the desert and if the thing does catch on fire, you know, you, you, there's some potential risk that you take by doing that. Um, the same thing goes when selling a house. I mean, it's, you know, again, it's a commitment. Um, you should interview a couple agents prior to selling, and you should have some good advice on how to get you top dollar for your house. So with that said, we've, uh, you know, um, we just took a listing up in Queen Creek, and part of the deal was we, we felt the team that the house needed painted and some work done so the people committed to hiring a painter and getting it fixed up and then they committed to 
listening to our advice so we can get this thing sold, which will hit the market Friday. And it's a great, great little three-bedroom, two-bath house with a full horse set up at the end of the uh, road in Queen Creek. Really a cute place. So, um, but you know, you, you've got all these different kinds of things going on out here in Arizona. Hey, one thing I do want to do, I want to send a special thanks out since we've been, uh, everyone's been talking about heroes and all this stuff. Um, the firefighters and the people that were responding to the fires this past week, you guys did a phenomenal job. And on our Facebook page, the Grandin Group, you'll be able to see the uh, planes that were dropping off. <laughs> Excuse me. That were dropping off the um, fire retardant to save it and stuff. And it was absolutely amazing the way these crews work. And they were out there hustling two, three days straight, just doing an absolute great job. So, on behalf of uh, Arizona and the Grandin Group, we congratulate you on that. So, you know, we're heading into summer here. It already feels like it's felt like summer since the end of April. We've had several days over 100 degree weather. And one of the um, things that everybody wants to have when they come to Arizona is a pool. Now, unfortunately, we had a drowning the other day right up the road from where I live. Uh, I believe the baby's all right. You have to keep an eye on, it takes two seconds, you have to keep an eye on your pets and your kids when they're around water. Um, as beautiful as they are, it's, it's also death traps. But with that said, um, I'm having our pool built now. And, I, and Extreme Pools is doing a phenomenal job. And we'll be posting pictures on that up shortly and stuff. I am paying a fraction of what some of the other bo- uh, brick-and-mortar stores were charging, like literally half. So if you find a house that does not have a pool, it's not an issue to put them in. There's generally enough room to get a tractor in the backyard. And um, if you're going to do a pool, if you're doing a new build... Hassle-wise, it's better to have the pool built so you're done with it because it does mess up everything for a couple months. But uh, we can get you hooked up with some great pools. And the biggest thing is um, if you have kids, you want to make sure you get a child-resistant safety fence around those pools or even on the patio just so the kids can knock it out there. Uh, pool Barriers of Arizona has been doing a great job. They've been in business, uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 years here in Phoenix, maybe longer, but they do a great job. Another pool barrier that we looked at that I think is really a sharp look for those of you that uh, want to have something besides the mesh fence, it's glass. And up along the patio, it's expensive, but up along the patio, it is absolutely beautiful. You don't know it's there. You're cleaning it a lot, but you don't know it's there, and it just gives a really sharp look to the uh, backyard that you're trying to create. So in Arizona, when you when you have a backyard with a pool, that is many, many people's oasis. You spend a lot of time in the backyard, and as I can attest, there are millions of things you can do in the backyard. Um, you can put up these shades, you can put up TVs, fire pits, ping pong tables, pool tables, grottos, slides. I mean, it's endless. It's, it's funny that people will spend you know, a million bucks on a house, and they'll spend almost a million, maybe sometimes even more than that. I've seen a couple in PV, but you can spend a lot on your backyard to make it an outdoor extension of your home, which is great. So anyways, we wanted to kind of just, we hadn't done a podcast in a little while, so I wanted to reach out to you guys, uh, let you know we're still here, everything's still active. The TV show, The Lockbox, has been taken off. It's kind of an extension of this, and it's actually dedicated to all you listeners of Arizona Real Estate Showcase because it's our kind of our live version. And we've been interviewing some really great people on that. So if you get a chance, check that out, The Lockbox. It's on Facebook. You can go to the Grandin Group and uh, befriend us, like us, and you'll get all the information. Uh, we've also had some uh, people from the podcast reach out and uh, you had questions about Arizona. So like I've mentioned in the past, Arizona has so many different personalities depending on where you go. Um, You know, if you're a golfer and you want to live on a golf course, there are some great golf course communities. And if you have pets, you might want an area that's close to trails or have a lot of walking trails so you can take the animals out and just have kind of a good time and stuff. Then again, if you're Maybe you're thinking about retiring, you're a little older, and um, you want to be active, but then yet you want to be left alone. We've uh, been very fortunate to sell a couple homes this year in Sun City, and i got to tell you, my attitude towards that changed. It is a really great community up there. The people are fantastic. It's not a bunch of 
people just that can't move around anymore. I mean, these people, right? They got softball teams, swim teams. Um, this community is active. It's over 55. So, and really, really good time. So, keep in mind, market's still doing great. Uh, you know, the coronavirus, you don't know what to believe on this these days. If it's, it's going, uh, the heat out here is definitely killing it. People are doing great. And, um, you know, we're ready for you to make a commitment to get out here and purchase a home. My sister and I, we have a great team. We'll um, make sure you're taken care of. If you have questions or you need anything um, about the houses or just anything about buying a house in Arizona, call us up. We'll get you hooked up. My information's below, and we love talking to you guys. And, hey, I've got to thank you, every single one of you. Every week or two that we do this podcast, it continues to grow. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. A lot of people from out of state, and there's three of our listeners that are probably listening to this right now, and I want to send out a thank you for purchasing your home here in Arizona. So we love it. You guys are welcome to come on the show. This show is about you. So keep sending me emails. Let me know what you want to talk about, what you want to hear. We're not going to give you the nonsense that you're going to hear from some of these other people about, oh, the real estate market's up 2% and uh, this and that. We're not into that. We want to make sure that you individually – are taken care of. Everybody has a different uh, standard, and we want to make sure we hit that with you. So as an individual buyer or seller, everything's going to be customized. You're not going to get the same answers that everybody else is given. Um, we, you know, we look at all the reports and stuff, but I got to tell you, the reports are only as good as your agents, and you know, we want to make sure you're taken care of. So you guys have a great first week of June. We're June 3rd. Uh, we will be back next week. We're getting closer to 4th of July. I think most of the 4th of July things have been canceled, but we'll have something special on here. Also, some neighborhoods are going to be getting pinwheels from us. And if you guys uh, would like a pinwheel, shoot me your address, uh, private message me your address, and I will send you and the kids some uh, uh, swag from the Granning Group. All right, another episode, Arizona Real Estate Showcase. Thank you so much for listening. Arizona market is great. Call us if you have questions, and we will be talking to you soon. And you guys have a good one. And in the background here, we've got some great music to take you out. Have a good one. Be safe, everybody.